Welcome to Space to Ground, I'm Chelsea Bayarte. The International Space Station is expecting a lot of deliveries this month, both cargo and human. We kicked off this week with the delivery of tons of supplies from a resupply spacecraft, and by the end of the month, the space station will receive even more new science and supplies and see the arrival of the Crew-7 astronauts. Northrop Grumman launched its 19th resupply mission to the space station, and its Cygnus cargo freighter arrived earlier this week. The space station's crew captured a behind-the-scenes look at their point of view during Cygnus's arrival. We got us a Cygnus. Next thing, the arm will maneuver the Cygnus vehicle over to the Node 1 common berthing mechanism, and that common berthing mechanism, or CBM, will connect the uh, vehicle, bolt it onto the space station, and then we'll get to get inside and take out all the cargo and supplies. Maybe some ice cream, right? Maybe, yeah, we'll see. Maybe some special <laughs> treats. Yeah. The crew quickly got to work unpacking their new science and supplies. Some of the items included experiments such as fire protection, a new potable water dispenser, and even a memory card with artwork from students from around the world. The next delivery on deck is scheduled for August 24th when the Progress 85 cargo spacecraft will arrive at the space station. We'll be airing both its launch and arrival live on NASA TV and on your NASA app. Then, just one day later, on August 25th, the excitement continues as four humans launch to the space station as part of NASA's SpaceX Crew-7 mission. Crew-7 is made up of four people. NASA astronaut Jasmine Mogbelli, Danish astronaut Andreas Mogensen, Japanese astronaut Satoshi Furukawa, and Russian cosmonaut Konstantin Borisov. A very international crew. So, we know Crew-7 is going to space very soon, but who exactly are they? Houston We Have a Podcast has a brand new episode out right now with an exclusive interview with each crew member. So check it out and get to know them just a little bit better. Earlier this week, two spacewalking veterans suited up and ventured outside of the space station. It was Sergei Prokopiev's eighth spacewalk and the sixth for Dmitry Patelin. During their spacewalk, the duo attached debris shields to the outside of the space station's Rosviet module and did some tests on a work platform that will be attached to the European robotic arm in the future. That is all for Space to Ground. Thanks for watching. Do you need more space? We've got you covered. Head over to nasa.gov and we'll catch you next week.